Hello Geeks, let us see how we can install Linux or Unix like environment on Windows 7. Here I am running Windows on my Mac parallel to Mountain Lion but it will work fine on your Windows PC as well. First of all you need to visit Segwin's website and here you'll have to find a download link named to the file setup.exe here it is as you can see right now click on this link to download setup.exe after you have downloaded i have already downloaded it so i'll not <laughs> re-download it after you have downloaded setup.exe make sure uh, just look for the location where it's downloaded i've, I've got it downloaded in my download folder of course and after that just visit your downloads folders and your windows pc i'll have to go through start menu here and search for setup.exe might be somewhere all right here it is uh, setup.exe run this and just click on the next you don't have to select anything let everything be default click on next a recommended thing let the location be the same click on next let it be the same click on next you just need not change anything click on next on every step one thing you'll change it will be like hassle for you just select any of the mirrors from the list click on the next and wait wait It will uh, show you the list of all the resources which are there on the mirror that you have to download. All right, it's quite long now. Here it is. So again, you the same default settings. You need not touch anything. Why some of the commands might not run? Click on next and. These are optional. You can select whether you want to or not. Just I don't I don't want any shortcut on my desktop or start menu. Click on the next, and uh, whoops, you're done. One more thing. Now what you have to do is you have to set the environment variable. So go to computer, select the properties button, and right here on the left hand side, select advanced options. Then click on the environment variables. This dialog will come in front of you and see if path is already set somewhere and if you haven't set it you'll ha you have you have to use new button but i've already set it up so i'll use edit button and edit the location to c drive c y g win slash bin and and just click ok is ok is. and then all you have to do is search for bash b a s h bash here will come a exe click on it and you are done your linux or unix commands will be working fine on your local machine so no putty hassle nothing like that perfect let us check with few commands pwd commands and all other few commands it's perfectly going fine file commands and all other commands are going fine Just, just testing it out tty command it works and if you want to read tty file you just need to move to the dev directory their cat command it contains nothing so just a control z and it's pretty much easy thank you very much